بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Last Friday I uh, did a live stream which I never expected would be uh, welcomed the way it was. And as a result, I got many requests from friends, brothers, sisters, who really asked me to do something on a weekly basis. All I can say is that, inshallah, God willing, I will try every Friday to do a live stream on a topic that is of interest to humanity, to the Muslim community, to the interfaith community. So inshallah, this week, I would like to talk about something that may have another intriguing title, and that is the impossible wishes. How could a wish be impossible? It could be impossible if it is made after the fact, if it is made at a time when the elements that will produce that wish are long gone so we cannot really achieve that desire we cannot get that wish and that is why these are called the impossible wishes now the impossible wishes are seven and they are all mentioned in al quran al kareem and we understand when we will mention those wishes why they are impossible the first one i would like to talk about is from Surah an naba where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that the people who reject faith would, on the day of judgment, look at the situation around them and they will say, يَوْمَ يَنْظُرُ الْمَرْءُ مَا قَدَّمَتْ يَدَهُ وَيَقُولُ الْكَافِرُ يَا لَيْتَنِي كُنْتُ تُرَابَ This is the first impossible wish that on that day people would discover that they really need to have accumulated good deeds in their life that was passed in al hayat al dunya that we call the menial form of life because life continues into the hereafter on that day because of the overwhelming circumstances they will say, I wish that I was nothing. I wish that I would turn into dust and never face the consequences of what I've done in my previous life. So this is the first impossible wish. A human will remain a human on that day, even though he or she will wish that they will turn into dust. The other one is from Surah Al-Fajr, something very close from Surah Al-Fajr. Uh, and what would happen? That person would say, Ya laytani qaddamtu li hayati. I wish I have done more in my previous phase of life. And I chose the word phase because, as I said, life is a continuum, even though there is death and there is, but you know, it, it continues. So what does the person say? Say, I wish I had done more good things in my previous phase of life. But alas, it's too late because the books are closed, the records are closed, and now we are facing the result of what we have done. It's an impossible wish. You cannot add anything. And the third one, is from Surah al haqqa another impossible wish. From Surah al haqqa we read, you know, that day we will be given our records as we are waiting for our audience with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then we will sneak a look at our books. If we are given our books, our records, with our right hand, we will rejoice and we will just lift it up and say, ha, anyone who would like to look at my record, we will be boastful that day. 
we will be so happy, we will be so excited. But another group of people would look at their record and they will know that what they've done in the previous phase of life was not good. And what would they wish, an impossible wish, again, because it's too late. That person will say, Ya laytani, another Ya lait, Ya laytani, lam uta kitabia, walam adri ma hisabia, Ya laytaha kanat al qadia. I wish that my death would have been it, that I would have come to an end that would never resurrect me afterwards. But it's too late because we have to face Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is the third impossible wish from Surah al haqqah Now, from Surah Al-Furqan, there are two impossible wishes. The first one is, Ya laytani lam attakhid fulanan khalila laqad adallani anis sabeel laqad adallani an the truth. I would translate, insha'Allah, because Prophet Muhammad وسلم, taught us that, you know, the friends we take in this life are important elements in directing our lives, our desires, our deeds, our a'mal. Uh, and if we take a good friend, a good companion, we will be, uh, uh, you know, by, by a process of diffusion, uh, doing the goodness that the companion does. But if we take a friend or a companion who would sway us from the right path, we will end up doing what that person is doing. So on the day of judgment, we would regret having taken a bad friend as a companion. Ya laytani lam attakhid fulanan khalila. I wish I had not taken such and such person as a friend, as a companion. But it's too late. It's too late. What would that help us with? Now, on the other end of the spectrum, another wish from Surah Al-Furqan, Ya laytani attakhadtu ma'ar rasooli sabila. I wish that I had taken the path of the messenger, that I have followed the teachings of the messenger, the sunnah of the messenger, that I have followed what was available for me during my phase of life that is called al hayat al-dunya but that is too late it's an impossible wish that day now another one is a simple wish but it's impossible wish it is from surah al-ahzab very simple ya laytana ata'ana allah wa ata'ana ar very simple we wish it's in a collective form of wish ya laytana because you know uh, community of believers or a community of non-believers would end up doing things that would affect the entire humanity. On that day, the community of non-believers would say only that had we followed or obeyed the commands of Allah and the commands of the Messenger. And finally, from Surah An-Nisa, the final impossible wish, Ya laytani kuntu ma'ahum fa'afuza fawzan azima. I wish I was with them. Who is them referring to? The community of believers. We would see what the believers would receive on that day from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the non-believer would look at them and would wish an impossible wish again. I wish I would be among them. Well, you had a chance, but not now. Now it's impossible. You had the chance when you were in Al Hayat al Dunya, in the previous phase, when you could have changed, you could have really considered what faith was all about, and you could have studied and you could have followed, not listened to exotic media coverages of what Islam was all about, and I'm using the word was, or the article was, because we are talking at a time in the hereafter when now everything is finished. And the wish was, I wish I would be among them, with them, فَأَفُوزَ فَوْزًا عَظِيمًا And I would receive what they are receiving, the great successes, the great rewards. 
that will be given to the believers on the day of judgment. Insha'Allah, I wish that those impossible wishes will be turned to very possible wishes. And you may ask, how can we do that? Simply by making them when we are in this life before death would take us over. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it possible for us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.